Hello friends, today I have a fantastic and legendary lens to repair and it is the Nikkor 50mm f1.2 a really 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 beautiful lens so this version is the AA version uh, from the 70s probably, I don't know uh, I got it uh, attached to a Nikon uh, F3 and the camera was in good condition and uh, the lens not so much uh, it is uh, a bit dirty on the inside as usual with these lenses because uh, I will show you just uh, when I start disassembling the lens that uh, as you can see the lens is very very dirty on the inside but uh, we're going to fix all that no problem so I'm going to show you how to uh, open this lens uh, for cleaning so let's start doing that so first thing you go to the lowest focal distance here so 0 0.5 and then here you will find a screw that you simply need to get a bit loose you don't have to remove it uh, a bit more and then by doing that you're able to unscrew the front element here and well, not really the front element just this ring here which has the serial number and written the Nikkor 51.2 I will put that aside and then uh, here uh, two important things to do and then let me go and get a marker otherwise I'm going to suffer a bit later and then I will tell you why so here I can just simply pull the optical assembly and then uh, what I want to make sure is uh, the position here of this lever uh, in this position because uh, otherwise I'm going to suffer uh, when inserting the optical block again uh, yeah I will have trouble that's it so I mark the position of those um, and well that's it I got out the optical assembly and uh, the mechanics uh, look fine there is some dry noise uh, in rotating the ring so we're going to put some new grease here uh, just to compensate for that otherwise uh, yeah, the mechanics are perfectly working and then now we proceed the, to opening the optics which is the part very interesting in and then this lens get dirty because here you have these openings here this is for the both aperture levers so this one is for the one that goes to the spring and then the one which connects to the camera via a rod here and then this one is uh, for the aperture ring itself so where you index the position of the aperture okay so I open this thing I will put this here and then I just need to remove these three screws here careful there because there is glue so uh, we need to force a bit initially but uh, they come uh, quite easy uh, just after uh, the screw is broken uh, not the screw, the, the glue is broken okay 
so two screws and then the last one here okay up there you go the three screws and then this part here is able to come out and then I have separated the lens in two sections and then as I told you before all the dirt uh, is coming out uh, from these two openings here on the sides to manipulate the aperture levers the, well the aperture itself and then uh, yeah, I can see here a lot of dirt let me try to show show that to you oh, less impressive with the with the lens alone black then okay anyway and you have all the dirt which is there so I'm going to get some clean stuff and then we'll get this lens but back to fit uh, and making it good for the next uh, four years so see you in a second So uh, I'm back, I got the cleaning stuff, so uh, I have the blowing peel that I'm just going to use for the interior. I'm not going to wipe or everything or anything. So hello friends, I, I'm back here for the cleaning. So, I have my blowing peel here, which I'm going to use just for the interior of the lens. And so I just blow to take the dust away, and, and then that's it for the interior. So uh, I saw uh, before uh, all the dust is gone. There's all some micro particles, but uh, then I can live with it because usually when you do cleaning and there is always some traces and then uh, I want to keep the interior as clean as possible uh, then uh, for the exterior I will use uh, the usual procedure which is uh, using uh, optical cleaning fluid uh, and then optical cleaning paper but then uh, for the interior uh, there is you don't have to do much and then this is the beauty of uh, finding this lens for a good price because it is dirty inside it is extremely easy to clean as you're seeing now and then uh, and then also very easy to work on uh, okay this screw doesn't want to stay on the tip It does so uh, now we can proceed with the actual cleaning uh, the back and the front so I have the optical clean fluid uh, so uh, I will put a link to the video description if you want to find uh, that fluid and then I have the optical cleaning paper and um, I use different brands the only important thing is that you keep and that you don't skimp on the optical cleaning paper take the good quality one uh, because uh, the bad one can scratch badly your lenses so uh, this is it for the back. This is very clean now. Uh, okay, 
so and then we will do the front but then I will reassemble the lens uh, and then here is something important you have to take into account is um, you have to align uh, this slot or this rod here with uh, this slot here I'm showing just now here and then uh, the small fork in here uh, to the rod uh, here on this side so I'm not going to do it immediately because this takes uh, some time and some patience and then I don't want to bother you guys uh, doing this you can do it on your own uh, then I will put the lens as if I have uh, do that properly I will do it then just after because it's just for you to see and then uh, once I am done so I do a final clean of my lens here is looking really good then um, okay assuming everything is mounted properly so I'm talking about the aperture levers and you can simply come and tighten uh, this ring and then put the screw and I'm not gonna tighten because it failed and I have to put it in and then I even forgot this ring which is the spacer for the lens but uh, I think the point is made um, this lens is very 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 easy to work on and easy to clean so and as you're seeing now well, uh, let me put some light here so you can see uh, the difference uh, with respect to the beginning uh, the lens looks a lot better now so there is still some cleaning that can be improved but uh, so far so good so uh, thanks for watching uh, and see you next time and then uh, if you find this lens don't hesitate take it home and clean it so bye